What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Seth and we are back again for some more Terraria 1.3. We got some exciting news today ladies and gentlemen. Off camera I ended up finding us another demon altar which put even more titanium into the world. And as you can see right here with this friendly chap, we actually found ourselves the wizard. We, we just found him, uh, I just found him off camera. In the area we were in the last episode by that spider's den he so I didn't know that I thought he was gonna be like in a static spot somewhere in the world turns out that NPCs like him can just randomly spawn in caves and stuff and he spawned fairly nearby so anyway out of his inventory we ended up buying ourselves a spell tome and we are going to combine it with a crystal shard and a soul of light to give us one of the best spells that I've ever seen in this game anyway. I, I'm sure there's probably a lot better spells by this point, but uh, before we start that, we ended up, like, I, I ended up going back, I got a crap ton of spider fangs, I was just farming the spiders for quite some time, and we ended up finding a couple pretty rare items, one of them being this strong poison staff which is green so i'm assuming that must be like super duper rare or something uh, apparently you can actually combine this later with a bunch of souls or something like that uh, i think it's a boss drop i'm not exactly sure but you can combine it so that this becomes a more powerful weapon but as for right now we are still going to be rocking well actually we're not going to be rocking our demon sights anymore because we're going to be getting the new spell but anyways we also ended up getting I forget if we got this on camera, but it's a spider turret, and it's actually very, very powerful. We can plant it down, and it'll just shoot anything around us, no problem. And then on top of that, I ended up crafting us a full suit of the spider armor. Now, lots of people since the beginning of the series have been telling me that the summoner gear is not fully fleshed out, because as far as I know, it only came with version 1.3. Now... Uh, I, I'm assuming that that means that later summoning gear is almost useless because right now I was testing it and it's actually more beneficial to have all these little spider guys with us than it is to have our own spells buff because these guys do a ton of damage like seriously and as it stands right now with our full set of armor and using the enchantment table we can actually have a total of six little spiderlings following us and they are so powerful man seriously they cause all sorts of damage because our armor makes it so that we can summon a base of five while on top of it also having increased minion damage for every single piece of the suit as well as the entire set so that is absolutely awesome anyway we gotta create this over by a bookcase Bloop! Let's get ourselves this spell right here. Now, as far as I remember this one, uh, when I was playing way, way back anyway, it is an extremely powerful spell that is to be reckoned with. And I don't know if we can... <laughs> That's so cool, man. That's so powerful. But anyway, we gotta use our Tinkerer to make it a little bit stronger. Let's, let's do this. I don't care if it's 16 gold. I'll do it. Ew! What a crappy roll. That one's not bad. It doesn't have knockback on it, but that's okay. I'll take it. And I'm also going to keep this melee weapon on hand, just in case. I didn't bother enchanting it because it cost quite a bit to, costs quite a bit to enchant. And it's not really that important to me to actually get it maxed out. Also, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I think we already talked about, did we talk about the fact that we got the pirate in our house? Uh, I think we may have. But either way, the pirate's in our house, and he's... He doesn't really do much. He just kind of hangs around and talks a bit. But anyway, as for today, uh, I wanted to actually head over towards the dungeon. I don't think we're going to necessarily go in there and actually fight anything. Because as far as I know, the dungeon is a lot harder now that we're on hard mode. Maybe we'd be able to take it, but I very much doubt it. The point being that I want to kind of head over in this direction and see if we can come across any more crimson. There's a demon altar secretly underground. Okay, I will take it. But I want to try and get more crimson because we actually haven't gone into the crimson biome that is over on our right. And I'm sure that there is probably secretly a ton of more demon altars. And we need as much titanium as we can get. I'm hoping that today, because I am going to half be going underground. Look at our spiders. Look at them kill. Kill my babies. Spider babies. Uh, but I'm hoping that we can get ourselves a titanium suit today. 
I don't know if we'll be able to actually, but it would be very, very nice if we could. Is this more palladium? Yeah, it's just more palladium, which we're still gonna grab anyway, just because it's cool to have all the resources, isn't that? Bloop. Can we? Oh, we can't. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, I was trying to uh, see whether or not we could actually cast our, whoa, no you don't, weird spell. This is, this is bad. This is bad. I should not be underground like this. <laughs> We've already been spending like so much of our time underground anyway. You know what? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of go back to the surface. Or maybe we should just dig our way to the right. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's dig our way to the right. Let's dig into this next part of the cave because it looks like there's actually something there. Some type of a structure, which is pretty irrelevant at this point. Like, I I've been finding a lot of these structures uh, kind of off camera just on our own time. That's some weird stuff, man. A big bookcase. Okay. But anyway, I've been finding lots of these, and it's pretty useless because most of this stuff uh, was only, of course, good when we were uh, in the normal game mode. I want to get that guy. I want to get him because he's going to drop a proper soul that we need, right? Uh, there's also apparently a way that we can get one of these guys as one of our minions, but... It's it requires quite a bit of souls and stuff that we would have to get from the bosses as far as I was reading up So we're probably not gonna be bothering with that anytime soon. Ooh, silver. That's it. Just some silver. All right <laughs> I don't know why those little fairies are not coming towards us though. That's kind of bad. What was that? I saw something. Aha! I knew I saw something Okay Hit him with a weird spell Alright, that's quite powerful, man. Even though we didn't really get to see it that much in action, I do know that it is a buff spell. That is for sure. Whoa! Because it casts so much. And it also doesn't even take that much mana as far as I know. Now, is this just more palladium? Yeah. Man, we're finding a lot of this stuff. Why couldn't we have found it when we needed it? I guess we did. Because it didn't take us that long to get through our palladium or get to our palladium gear it's all the other stuff that's taking me quite a while to get to <laughs> but that's okay I'm fine with that where is I knew there was something else here oh so much water get out of my face it's destroying all our torches <laughs> strange plant Bowser that means we got ourselves another die awesome awesome possum <laughs> oh that's such a weird term what is this Oh, that was garbage, like legit. Weird. Uh, there was also that that fairy ally I was reading up about. There we go, let's just get back to the surface, screw it. Uh, but he's just another light source pet. Yeah, that's right, he's not a summon, he's a pet. Ouch! What is all that crap? Oh! Pearl sand, huh? So this might actually be, yeah, this is gonna be not the crimson uh, biome, it's going to be the pearl biome, or whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, I was also trying to... Woo! Trying very hard, actually, to find um, Waverns up in the sky, dragons, so that we could try and get our hands... Woo! Raincoat zombie, dead in two shots. One shot, actually. But I was trying to get uh, some of those dudes. We don't have any of our fire resistance right now. So that we could get some flying souls, because apparently they're supposed to be, like, the, those those waverns are supposed to be spawning already. And then, ooh, that's a strange plan, isn't it? Yeah, it is! Ha ha, Bowser! So, we want those flying souls so that we can get our hands. Wow! I see why people say summoning stuff is kind of useless, because if we had full magic gear, this spell would be even more powerful. And it's already, like, super duper strong. I mean, granted, most of that is just our uh, spiders doing a lot of damage, too. Like, look at them. <laughs> but yeah, they drop flight souls, and those are used for crafting wings. That is a bigger eye if I've ever seen one. Get him, spider babies! Oh, I've seen these stupid clouds before. I don't like them. They're ugly and scary. All right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go into the dungeon. Let's see what we can see. Is there anything in here that is not going to give us trouble I don't know. There's a couple enemies. As far as I was reading up, the only things that we can really get out of the dungeon right now is a couple drops from enemies, of course, like always. Whoa! 
Like there's a ninja suit or something, like a ninja black belt or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I kind of, I didn't actually explain any of this on camera. I kind of sealed off uh, most of the tedious areas. Like as you can kind of see here, I've kind of set it up so that it is just one way. What is this? Palladium in the dungeon? That's so weird. But I set it up so that there is no tedious paths. There is only the paths which lead us, I think this one is actually just because, yeah, this one is only so that we could uh, let some enemies out of there and fight them. But I've set up a bunch of stuff. As you can see right here, this is like an arrow. So this is pointing us to one of the chests that we need hard mode loot in order to get. 350, wow. So maybe the dungeon isn't that strong, but as you can see right here, whoa! So there's a frost thing in my bomb. Titanium randomly. And I don't think there's anything further. I don't think we can go any further. But those chests are something to do with hard mode. I, I, I don't know exactly what. I just know that they are an item from hard mode. So it doesn't look like we ended up getting that much good stuff here. I, I kind of thought that the dungeon was going to be like a hard mode version. But maybe that's only after we like defeat a certain amount of bosses or something like that. I honestly don't really know. But that's okay, I am perfectly fine with that. Right now, my priority is still getting the ore. So, I want to try and see. Maybe we'll get lucky here and have like it more ore generate down here. Because as you kind of saw, there was quite a bit of random ore just inside the dungeon. So, I, I kind of got a feeling that maybe we'll run into some of it right now. That would be very, very nice. Okay, maybe we won't. It doesn't look like we're going to. But at least we're getting pretty close to... Oh, there's some titanium. Good. That's just... Right, yeah, that is titanium. Why was it saying it was lead? Weird. But I want to get us a titanium magic suit. I mean, these, these spiders are extremely useful. We might actually rock them for quite some time. Until they become, like, completely irrelevant. See, there's the other... Well, you can't really see it, but it's behind me right now. There's the other uh, jungle th uh, key door thing that I think we need to kill Plantera for or something. Which, we're not going to be getting to that for any time soon. I as far as I know, the first boss, at least according to the wiki, is supposed to be the twins. But I thought those were, like, one of the hardest bosses in the game. I mean, maybe, maybe, that, maybe it was just, maybe they were at one point when back when I was researching this game. I don't, I don't know. That, that's the thing. Like a lot of my information and stuff that I know is kind of irrelevant now, because I, I like, I, you know, I don't know all this new beautiful stuff. Oh, you know what we could do too? Get out of here, weird weirdness. There is way too much lava around here. This is dangerous. Uh, I was gonna say we could actually. Oh, that was close. Spider-Man. I, I was gonna say we could actually go into the ocean. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> and maybe get ourselves some special treasures. I'm not exactly sure, though, if they end up generating in the ocean. I know there is a gigantic, like, shark or ocean boss or something. Maybe sharks are just a hard mode enemy. I'm not exactly sure. Uh-oh. That lava is really gonna screw things over for me. Yeah. Because it's gonna mess with our bridge. So that kind of sucks. Yep, that is gonna mess with our bridge. <laughs> oh boy. That's gonna hurt too. I'm just gonna do this. I got a special strategy for you guys. Let me let me do it. Let me open the bridge. There we go. That'll at least let some of it out. We we've been getting so much money too, by the way, be thanks to this uh lucky coin that we're rocking. Like, seriously, it's it's been giving us so much money from all the enemies and stuff. Like, legit. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, goodness, more lava. No, please. Please, no. Go away. I'll just open those up. And you know what? Nuts to this. Let's just get out of here. And let's go some do some mining again. <laughs> because we we need to get resources, man. I'm gonna go, whoa, this way, that's what I wanted to do, because we haven't done this area. Uh, we actually haven't even touched this area, period, because it seems like there's no torches around. So that's good, that's a good sign. 
I, I still know that there was like a million years ago when we were exploring the area on our uh, right over there, like in the ice area. I know that there was like so much titanium that we couldn't mine at the time. And now we finally can, and I still haven't gone back for it. I should. I definitely should. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Eat him, spider babies. Ah, oh, he's delicious, master. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Spiders eating a turtle. Only in Terraria, man. Oh, there's more Archillium, so at the least, like, that's a good thing, too. Archillium is not a bad resource, either, because we are trying to get our hands on both. Whether we get Titanium Armor first... Uh-oh. We haven't been picking it up, have we? Oh, I hope, I hope it hasn't been messing things up. But we haven't been able to... We did get the Titanium, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Whether or not we end up getting Orchilium or Titanium first, I don't really care. If we if we skip right up to Titanium, that could be really, really cool. But honestly, I don't know whether we will or not. Get him, my babies! Oh my goodness, those things are so powerful. I don't know what resource that was over there. What is that? It's blue and beautiful. What is this? Is this a chest? I've never seen this type of chest before. Wow, that is really weird. Pearlstone block. Let's get rid of those. Pearlstone block. Dirt. Garbage. Dungeon crap. Enemies. We got golden key GG on that one. Let's grab all this junk. Grab the chest too. And grab that jellyfish statue. Because as far as I know, that is one of the many chests that actually spawns enemies. So we can use that to our advantage. What is this ore? What is this? Oh, it's just our chillium. Okay. <laughs> it just looks really weird because in this uh, biome, I guess it kind of, like, it looks blue. So it was totally tricking me. Oh, there's more of those ghosts that are going to give us the good items that we need. Whoa! Hello, TNT. I see you. I'm not even going to touch that right now because I don't care. We need to definitely put stuff in our safety deposit box. Because seriously, we are getting, like... We got too much junk on us. Let's let's put all this crap away. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't care. I'll sort it all out when we get back to our house. But at least we're going to be able to get some more dyes. I'm excited for that. Because I hope that we're going to end up getting some good stuff. Because I want some more of them magic dyes. Some more of that special stuff. Uh, the other thing, too, as you can kind of see here. Not the javelin, but we actually have our summon spider turret. It's actually very handy. If we cast it up here, like, for example, if we cast it up here, it's automatically going to place it on ground level. So, very, very handy spell. That Those turrets are great. I, You know, I love this whole summoner thing. Like, I, I really hope that it actually does become and stay as a viable build because I love the summoning stuff in this game, man. Like, it's seriously awesome. If, if there is one thing that I would want to play as, it's a summoner. Because it really reminds me of the Necromancer from Diablo 2. So, so many things just remind me of, like, old games. It's, it's great. I love it. There, there's also a lot of really weird items, too. I was just checking out, like, some of the spells uh, and everything like that. Just uh, off camera. More, more stuff. Anything up there? No, it's too dark. I can't see. Well, doesn't look like we're getting any titanium. Maybe titanium only spawns deeper. Maybe that's the point. Let's see. Oh, there's a, there's new stuff. There's a whole new cave right over down here. Good. So let's actually dig our way back up so that we can kind of zigzag our way in here without getting the water down here to give us trouble. Ooh. Oh, that's a mushroom biome. Yeah, that's a mushroom biome. We don't need that right now. We're kind of almost on time, too. Yeah, we're kind of almost on time. You know what, then? Get out of here, you weird monster. I'll kill you with my magic spells. This spell this spell book is, like, so powerful, too. I can't even believe it. Anyways, is this a good resource that we need? Now, the, these biomes are actually great. I saw you, boulder. So much palladium. Seriously. But these bombs are great because we can get a crap ton of mushrooms, glowing mushrooms. They seem to spawn in just like growing on the grass. So they, like, I, I've been in 
not necessarily this one, but other biomes like this. And they, they've been like, they constantly respawn uh, glowing mushrooms, which is great because we can use those to keep making good potions. Yeah. Yeah, this is totally a new area. Okay, cool. What is this? Truffle worm. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. Oh, there's another little thingamabob over here that's not going to do anything. Well, you know what? We will probably call this episode very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, we got one of those weird garbage dispenser things. Whoa, let's let the water in. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't think we're going to come across that much more interesting stuff. What is that? Well, that's a good way to end the episode. I want to kill it, whatever it is. What is it? I don't know what that was. That was a very strange enemy. He was freaky. It was like Jumanji. <laughs> Give me that special Topaz. We'll kill him, and you know what? Let's, let's, we'll, we'll go. I know we're going a little bit over time today. We'll go a little bit more just because I want to. I keep saying this is my spawn point, but it teleports us down there. It's really weird. Uh, but let's see. Let's get ourselves some titanium and our chilium as much as we can get. Let's do it right now. Where is it? Our chilium? Oh, that's not enough for a full suit at all. Where's our titanium? Wow, it costs so much ore out of titanium. Like, it's it's five ore a piece. Seriously. So, what we could get, at the least, we could get ourselves the titanium pick. So, that's always good. I, I wouldn't mind getting the drill just for fun factor. But, it's not really a priority. Because, it's kind of like, I don't know. As far as I remember, it's very, very loud. I love the look of those war axes, though. That looks so beautiful. We don't necessarily need it, though. Wow, we only got to pick, get the pick. Jeez. 165, 190. And we got a size buff on it as well. We got the exact same as our Chilium one generated. So that is actually fantastic. Now, what is it going to cost us? Where's our mage one? Where's our magic one? There it is. 18% increased magic critical strike. Oh, critical strike chance. Where's our maximum magic damage? Well, that kind of sucks. Anyway, this would cost 12, 24, and 18. So there is no way we're going to be able to get that much. My goodness gracious. And I keep wanting to kind of like... I, I half want to do mining off camera because of how tedious it seems to be to find titanium. But at the same time, I've talked about it before. It kind of would uh, defeat the purpose of most of the things that we got going on so anyway you know what we're already over time anyway so i'm gonna go and get the dyes and stuff i gotta reorganize my inventory and everything like that but i'm gonna go and get the dyes from this guy and if any of them are any interesting or cool or anything like that i'll show them off in next week's episode but otherwise i still very much like this armor not only because it looks cool because like we actually have like some area to us like he's kind of like man I'm, I'm a spider-man guy but also the minions seem to be extremely powerful, at least for right now anyway. They may end up getting very weak. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you would smack that like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.